Hey Aries, how are you? I hope you're doing well. This is a Who's Coming Forward Soon reading for the Aries sign. This is for you guys. This reading will focus on, um, you know, love opportunity, love connection, love reconnection, incoming love messages, incoming love opportunity for you. It could be in the past. It could be someone brand new. Um, I put a timeline um, three to six months when I was met when I was meditating, but it could be, you know, beyond that. So it will be different from each one of you. Just pick the scenario which one resonates with you. If you've been watching tarot reading on YouTube by now, you know how to manifest and how to know if this reading is for you. All right, this is for you guys who's coming towards me reading for the beautiful airy sign. First card is you've got the, the moon card in upright position. You've got the king of cups in reverse, the four of wands. You've got the five of swords. You've got the knight of cups. I'm going to do three reading today. High priestess, ten of swords, the lovers, and the seven of wands in reverse. Let's start with, let's start off with this. So this is definitely something for uh, someone from your past, all right? A person where um, it could be a recent breakup or it's a, it's a breakup. A person that you've connected and um, you've connected and you break up, you separated. Um, I think it was a proper breakup. It was, they didn't ghost you. It was, um, it was a mutually agreed breakup for some of you or for some of you, you know, you don't have a choice, but. If they want to break up, you know, they want to, they don't want to continue. You just really have to accept it. Something of like that scenario. Um, so this person, they, th they still think of it. It's, show it's showing up as a love opportunity, love connection, love reconnection, because they have fears. They have doubt about that breakup, that decision making. Um, for some of you, they're quite disappointed that, you know, it went on, the breakup went on. Um, they're now kind of overthinks about the situation. They're, they're kind of haunted by thoughts that, you know, if, if you guys weren't impulsive, if you guys were, you know, tapping in a love vibe energy versus ego, hatred, or hurt, something about with them that, you know, they couldn't sleep at night and they think that, they think about you in the relationship, especially the relationship, because, you know, it's the, the lover cards in reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but they think about the breakup, right? It's, there's, there's a, an attachment of regrets and missing you and, um, like thoughts that is, um, worrying, like for some of you, this could be recent, recent, fresh, you know, they still think about you, uh, seven of ones in reverse. They don't want to, for some of you, they don't want to have an argument with you they don't they want to settle things like if there's a battle a legal battle they really want to settle that because for some of you um, i'm really picking up you know they they want like maturity you know um maturity of two person coming together for some of you especially if it's involving legal matters and court decision or kids you know custody um they're not happy about the breakup right but at, at at some point they have to separate or agree to have a breakup because it was too much of you know um of of pain or issue or well, something about they don't want to separate really i'm really picking up they said about the breakup they think of you they were thinking about the breakup they weren't they weren't really prepared for the breakup um but they don't want to have a lot of arguments. So for them, this is, was this was like the best option is to break up because you keep on clashing, you keep on arguing. So I couldn't pick up really whether they will communicate or reconnect with you. But there could, you know, a 20 to 30% that they will, especially around the, the eclipse, which is around July. Um, it's because they're still thinking the, 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 the breakup, the hate, the pain is still fresh because you still have, they still have the nine of nine of swords, you know, they, they still link the, 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 the fight, the stress, the anxiety that caused the breakup or whatever it is that you've been through, it's still with them. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of missing you and regret attached to this reading that, um, 
you know, it's, I'd, I'd always say, um, wait for things to settle and in the next, um, cause it's a full moon in the last two days. So it could be, it, there was there's some sort of excess energy in the last two day, two days, um, that, um, people are being affected in dreams and the way they decision, you know, they, they, they've kind of, um, they make a decision making things that were not being closed off it's now resurfacing so one of the highlights of their full moon is that they think about your breakup it's something that they really think and when they think of you and the breakup it is still repl re reflecting the bad stuff so they haven't really um released all the bad stuff because, but sooner or, or, or later i'm really picking up that sooner or later they would be able to forgive forget you know, it's just they really need to face this demon. You know, they need to fight this demon. They need to kind of accept that, you know, two good people can create a bad relationship. And it gets better in time. All right. So the signs that I'm picking up here, Gemini and um, Aquarius and Libra. Okay. And then you've got once Aries, Leo, Sag as well. All right. So that's the first three cards. Now moving on. Okay. So, <clears throat> well, this situation is definitely, again, someone you know. It could be, at, you know, it, this connection is still happening to now or it could have been happening in the past. But there were some sort of a, um, there was a bit of deceptive. The way they move, the way they connect, the way they reconnect, it's, it's a bit um, shady. You know, you can't really get what they want. And, um... It's showing as an opportunity because if you think of a person where they were deceptive, they were, for some of you, it could be you dated them and then you found out that you're dating another person as well. Or you're dating them and they haven't moved on within it. Something about not a very deep cheating, you know, it's, I really, when I was stopping in the energy, I was really feeling like it's not really so bad. It can be forgiven. Um, so they're showing us an opportunity for you, love, connection, reconnection, because if this person's come back, they will offer you a cup, you know, knight of cups because they, you know, they, they were really inconsistent in the past, especially if it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're going to offer you a cup. And this is something that, um, it could be in the past, they were struggling to express what they feel because I'm really sensing like this person, you know, you can't really understand what they want sometimes they would joke about their feelings toward you how you know it's a person that they can't be straightforward they can't make up their want, mind something about this person that they can't make up their mind they're inconsistent it could be they're dating you they're dating another one so it's creating confusion for them who they like i'm really picking up this love opportunity it's not really so bad it's something that you could forgive if if they really are going to come back to you with with um with with this knight of cup you it, it's it's it seems to be that they are appearing to be more sincere because this is not sincere this is game you know this is playing uh this is a player game a bit of deceptive a bit of lie and then this is serious this is game time this is serious and the high priestess in reverse because I felt like this time around, they would express wholeheartedly the real feelings, the real connection. I've just got that message just now. They will make you feel the real connection. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. All right? So if there's a person around you, past or up until now, who is inconsistent, a bit of deceptive, that it's you can't really understand them. There's a change. Change is coming, especially this full moon. The people are changing. There's a game change of event situation. So they will make you feel uh, the real feelings, the real connection that they could offer. Okay? Now, the next three cards, you've got the um, the moon card in upright position. You've got the queen of cups in reverse and the four of pentacles. So this could be a Pisces. It was confusing. It's a, The way this person connect, reconnect with you, it's, it's confusing. Like you're always in the dark. Whenever this person message, you can't really figure out what they want. They're saying hi to you. It's it's a person where when they connect, when they reconnect, you always feel lost. Like, what do they want? Do they want me or they're just saying hi? Something of a, when they, when they message you, it seems to be plain. But you feel that this is not just a message of hi, hello. 
this is not just a random message. There's something in it, but they weren't able to deliver. They weren't able to contextualize in verbal, in text, or even in action. Something about um, unable to express. Um, Queen of Cups, they're holding back. You know, they're a bit of selfish about sharing what they feel. Um, and then Four of Pentacles, you know, they will make a move, a practical move. I like, I like, I, I like the um, Four of Pentacles. So if you can't, if you know, the message is saying, if you can't read the way, you know, it's like if if you want to understand this person, sometimes people can be confused in terms of connection or reconnection. All right, that's happened to you as well. Sometimes we don't understand each other. There's this connection. There's this thing with us, but we can't understand it. So it takes a bit of you know two, three weeks, a month to process it. But because that's how love and works and how that's emotions, love, feelings work together with our brains and logic and our actions. So, you know, it's a little bit of coordination that needs to happen before we could really sometimes nail what we feel, what we want. And I felt like this is this is the situation of this person is, is that they're coming towards you. But they're a bit lost. They don't know what to express, how to express and what they want. So for you to make this connection, reconnection, you know, kick off is to write the ask question or um, four of pentacles. Don't expect them to be um, verbal. You have to read their action, right? You know, you might be frustrated. What the hell? Why he hasn't, you know, asked me? Why he hasn't told me this thing? Blah, 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 blah. I've already told him that I miss him. You know, I like him, but he've never said that back. So don't that don't judge him just because he cannot verbally say things or he's not very expressive emotionally. You have to count his, her effort towards you. All right? Especially if this is earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, there is Gemini, uh, sorry, there is a Pisces here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy as well. So it's the, the card is saying, and the vibe today, our, our guides are saying, don't just be, don't just judge them because they can't say it verbally. You have to give them the benefit or, you know, the, the brownie points that look at their action. They might not be expressive, but look at their action. They would meet you all the way near their office to see you, to date you, something of like that. All right, or if they can't say I miss you or uh, I miss you good night in text, but they would you would see them bring you coffee, you know things like that. Some, some you know sometimes action is better than words. All right, so this is your three love opportunity, incoming opportunity for you guys. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you want to further connect with me, all the details you know, it's down the description box. Again, thank you guys. It is my pleasure doing this to you. Have a great day. Bye.